Well, what's going on today is my big jam, I call it, at the lake. Like every year around this time, Jack has his annual Lake Jam Guitar Fest. That's what I'm doing out here. The Davis Lodge here on Lake Bloomington is available for such things and, and an amazing venue. Acoustic music playing being a, a huge hobby of mine, I thought why not have some friends up here on a nice fall day and we'll just, uh, we'll just make some music. We met through our love of playing guitar and, and uh, making music. Yeah, I've only missed maybe one. That's how I know Jack from, uh, from playing music. This is my second time out here. Yeah, we were here two or three years ago. I think that was the second time for me. Yeah, and he brought me. He that said, was the first time come for her. do this. I'm coming out for the annual jam. Uh, Jack uh, Secord puts on. It's really a lot of fun. Last year was my first year. This is my first year. It, it's a great musical experience. It's really neat. We start out with, with what's my favorite part of it, a, a circle. And we go around, and if you care not to play, you can take a pass. But uh, everybody just kind of tells who they are musically and plays a song. Howdy, my name's Wes. I play as a solo acoustic singer-songwriter around town under the name of Chaz Wesley, as well as I play in a duo with this guy right here. We're chasing the turn. We do classic rock covers. I'm going to play an original song. Well, I left the long shot linger on my pawn shop guitar I've got a quiet demeanor so I'll never get far One of the first songs I taught her how to play was We're Big Rock Singers, We Got Golden Fingers. <laughs> On the cover of the Rolling Stone. <laughs> Nobody knows you When you're down and out Oh, I've played guitar since I was a teenager. I played in a high school rock and roll band. Uh, it was cool. Yeah, it was cool. I played uh, clarinet in a band, and that wasn't so cool. So I thought, yeah, I need to get a guitar. <laughs> we play at church together a lot. We played, we played church every Sunday morning. I've been playing around Central Illinois since 1981. My uncle, he used to come to our house in Dallas and bring his uh, guitar over and he played old Hank Williams and he actually played on the Louisiana Hayride back in Shreveport back in the day. Said Louise was not happy. I started playing, you know, uh, 1963 when the Beatles came out, of course. <laughs> Actually, I tried to play a little bit a couple of years before that, but it was too hard. I quit, you know. The Beatles came out, all the girls were screaming, extra motivation, you know, so. When I was little, you know, I wanted to play, uh, like get in the school band in third or fourth grade, whatever, when you could play the, the instruments. And I never got that opportunity. And my mom and dad probably knew I, all the singing I would do, always thumping, you know, drumming on something. And so they bought me a guitar when I graduated uh, eighth grade. Come from a musical family and uh, musical background. Our church is, was always four part harmony, a cappella. Just always loved music, and, and uh, guitar was a good outlet for that. It's unusual for me to play in public, especially with this for many people. Just down in the basement type playing, nothing public yet. This is called a cajon, and it's a Spanish instrument. Uh, actually, South American, it's Spanish titled, and cajon is Spanish for box. It can really emulate a drum set in both bass drum and snare drum, as well as adding some tom sounds in if you get creative with your foot. I just happened to find the cajon as I was looking at YouTube videos one day and saw that it was a really good drum set replacement and thought, hmm, that could be something that I could really get into and feel like I could sound as big as I wanted to when I was drumming acoustically and yet not overpower everything. I just love coming out here because uh, 
get to see a lot of people that I've met through music and be exposed to a lot of different styles of music and talk with people that love uh, acoustic music the way I do. I was in Amsterdam and came back to the youth hostel. There was college-aged student sitting over on a bunk bed and pulled out a guitar and played a Neil Young song. And I thought, wow, real people can do this. Uh, and I, I made a vow that as soon as I got back uh, home, I would get a guitar and learn how to do that. I play out uh, as a duo with my friend Jim Bass, calling ourselves Austin Found, since we connected with a uh, shared passion for Texas singer-songwriter music. I play every Thursday at Potbellies and uh, have a blast uh, doing my solo thing. Uh, and there are open mics around, and uh, I, I pursue the hobby. I got a ukulele when I was in the sixth grade and, and taught myself to play that. And then like uh, Waylon Jennings, I got my first guitar when I was 14, a silver tone. As long as people keep coming, I'm going to keep putting it out. It's an open invitation to come and bring your friends, and uh, again, it's a great way to meet new people through the, the, the great, great hobby of music. If you took away the guns and gave everybody guitars, uh, instead of shooting each other, we'd be singing Beatles songs.